Yeah, so today we left town about five, six kilometers or something and got to this area where there's uh, three or four crags right in the same right in the same little valley and uh, a couple caves and uh, a couple big walls. We didn't get to one actually, it's a little too far away. It's, uh, but some of the other ones are really nice and uh, happy to just kind of scope them out and uh, you know, have a day thrashing around in the forest a little bit, get dirty and sweaty and check out some rock. I'm Andrew Hedish and we are in South China, Guilin, Yangchuo. Uh, the last 10 years I'm I primarily just develop rock climbing, support rock climbing routes. I think there's a ledge up there, halfway up the wall, and it looks like there might be some wood that's kind of making a, some sort of bridge, at least a, it's a, it goes across a span of rock on the ledge. You might be able to get into a cave up there. It's really cool. Um, yeah. The problem with going to New Craig is that you kind of, you don't know how to go there. So you make the trail to go there, but then once you get there, you find the farmer trail and then you have the easy way down. My cup of tea is the development because it gives me a sense of adventure. Um, it's a little scarier, a little more dangerous. Rocks fall, you get cut up. Um, you're going to new locations. And I, that's, that's the part I, I really enjoy about being outside. Uh, the general and the exploration, the challenge. Actually, this is kind of fun. <laughs> When I'm looking for a new crag to develop, I usually choose two or three, um, and then I, I assess them based on numerous uh, numerous things, and uh, then I choose one. And after I choose that one, then I kind of uh, I develop it slowly, but it usually takes about six months or maybe a little bit longer, depending on how difficult it is, um, and so forth. Today is the first step in finding a new crag. So when I'm searching for a new crag, I have four things that I base my decision off of if I'm going to develop it or not. Um, it is how, how likely is somebody to come here because of the access? Is it close? How far away from town it is? What's the hike like? Um, and then the next one is the belay area and uh, the atmosphere of hanging out at the crag. And then we have, then we start looking at the, the climbing itself. And there's two ideas. One is the rock quality. Is it good rock? Is it bad rock? And along with that is the ease of development. Um, is, it, is it extremely difficult or is it mm, moderately? And then the last one is what kind of grades are at the crag? Is there, uh, is it all really easy stuff? Or is there a large spread of the crag, spread of the grades? Uh, or is it really, um, at the limits. One end is really easy and one end is really difficult. Um, and in so doing, I'm hoping that we can get to any crag that has uh, 10 routes is kind of my goal, but if we get eight, that's fine also. used to just have the the idea for me when I was developing roots was like oh wow that's a cool rock let's just go develop that da -da 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 -da. and it was more based on I guess you could say utility I had a little bit more motivation um, but now after having a lot more experience it's I'm really looking for something that inspires me and if I can find a line a rock a crag something that inspires me, like I want to climb that, or I think that's a beautiful piece of something, whether it's a rock, a line, a tufa, whatever it is. And that 
alone will drive me at least to put the root up, but then usually I develop the crag also. Uh, so for me, I really, I'm looking for that something that kind of touches me or does something a little bit more than just, oh, where's the next crag and let's go develop something. It's actually, I'm looking for something that's more meaningful. For me, the best thing in life is when somebody walks up to you and says, you inspired me. You made me want to change my life. That's the best feeling. And anytime, no matter what a person does, as long as there is uh, more fulfillment, personal fulfillment, and reason for doing something, then it has value. Money is bullshit. If you touch somebody's heart, if you did something, or you had a conversation with them, and that really touched somebody's heart, now you're making a difference in the world. Now you're helping yourself, and you're helping others. That's what really matters.